All right, folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back playing Fallout Shelter. We are on day 14, which means we've been playing this for two weeks. Now, we can use a lunchbox, but if I get a little bit more food, I can get my second lunchbox. The extinguished fires is fantastic. That's just going to happen over time. I actually got the other lunchbox due to uh, getting enough of my people to raise their endurance. And that was actually really easy. I just chose some of the new kids that were bo that were just born, and threw them in there. And if you're if you're really new, uh, you know it can take you like 30 minutes. So it it really wasn't that difficult to get them done. Now, I didn't actually send anyone over here to stop these guys, so that's not good. Yeah. Okay. So. You want to get them right before they get to be a really big pain. Because once they get to be a pain, then you're going to have to worry about healing everyone. Let's heal him. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, sh is she dead? Is she going to die? She's not dead. She's not doing well. Okay, so we got a lot of people that are not doing well at all. Yep, she died. That's so unfortunate. So, because I was recording, I totally was not paying any attention. Let's heal everyone up. Their attitude has definitely gone down. Make sure we heal everyone up. We can go up here. Figure out who is still injured. He's exploring, that's fine. All right, so let's revive her. Costs 100 caps to revive someone, not really that big of a deal. Okay, so lunch boxes. Let's get these. I haven't started to uh, make any babies or anything, just due to the fact that uh, the broadcast center, I wasn't sure about that, as well as I knew I was gonna get two lunch boxes. So if I do get people, I don't wanna go too overboard. So let's go in, let's unlock this, see if we get anything special. Nightwear, not that important, not that important, not that important. Hardened assault rifle, not too shabby. Collect nine outfits, that's gonna be fine. We have a guy coming back to the, to the vault soon enough. Okay, so those lunch boxes uh, were not helpful at all, but that's okay. Again, it's all for chance. This guy's coming back in an hour. He'll be perfect. He'll be able to get all the nine outfits. Um, over time, you know, there's going to be a certain amount of fires that are going to be extinguished. We're going to get a lunchbox. So because I didn't actually get anyone, what we can do is we can actually look for someone that's got a lot of skills, which I believe is James for sure. Um, and we can actually... It's 120. Okay, so we're actually going to start just breeding two more people. We can actually put him here. Let's put him in that charisma. Um, we're going to give him the clergy outfit, cap him out, and we got to look for the women that have a last name. So, Samantha Smith, you have a last name. I just revived you. I know you're super young, uh, but I definitely know that she was not... She did not come from that guy. So, we'll give her a nightwear. Let that thing run its course. We'll do that for two more people because we do want to get six. We, I've been saving a lot of my caps because I want to get this nuclear reactor, which were, which does require uh, a certain amount of vaults. So what we can do is we can follow them. Now he has a 10 charisma. His stats, because I've been training him, are fantastic. They are very, very good. Um, his luck just needs to get better, so when we send him out in the waste, he comes back with more stuff. So instead of waiting for all of that to kind of go down, uh, I will see you guys back here at the end of the day. At the end of the day, most likely both of the babies will be born and we'll be able to build that Nuka-Cola plant. That is going to be sweet. So I'll see you guys then. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Au revoir.
All right, folks, pitching against idiot, we're back. Let's fin let's grab a whole bunch of stuff. As you can see, at the end of this day, as I said, day 14, we are going to be able to get that nuclear reactor. Let's, uh, you know, level everyone up, grab all of our caps for doing that. Go into the strength. Realize that there's a f everyone has, like, full strength, which is fantastic. You can go all the way over to the nuclear reactor. Look at this. Look at this, baby. 1500. This thing is going to cost a fortune to upgrade. Upgrade. Look at this. Production storage. Storage is a lot. Let's see. Let's see what else we can do for the final upgrade. 18. Boom, baby. Look at that. Storage is 1200. Before that, with all of the other ones, it was like almost non existent. That's just. That's just fantastic. Also produces 60 energy, which is great. Now, what we can do is we can throw a couple of these guys down here that have strength of 10. Now, she will have strength of 10 because we're going to give her the military fatigues. So we can put three people down here with 10. Nine minutes, four minutes, and then it's going to take maybe two minutes, which is going to be fantastic. This guy, do we have another, oh, we have another military fatigues, awesome. So he's gonna go down there as well. And again, it's just so that we can produce so much more electricity. Those things are gonna start to actually replace the other ones. So when we have something like this, like I would get rid of this one and this one and just create a nuclear power plant right there, um, just because of how much it produces. Um, also will allow your vault to grow a little bit more only downside to the nuclear re uh, power plants is that they uh, they cost a ton of money. So that's something that we just don't have as much right now. The garden is going to be really, really nice as well for kind of consolidation. Um, but right here, you can look at the nuclear reactor. It is fantastic. Now, we can still assign six people. We don't really need to just yet. But because we did take some people from strength we're gonna start putting some people into the strength so Bobby and Grace are kids that just grew up and so we're gonna take both of them put them into strength because again the strength is really the the mo the biggest place that you really need to get because um, it produces power and that's again your most vital resource uh, at this point So, what we can do now is there's one more person that we can put over into the strength. So we're actually going to put her over with the strength to kind of hopefully grow her strength up a little bit. Everyone else here, he can actually probably go into his... He Oh, this guy we can actually send out to the wasteland, to be honest with you. Look at that. Alright, you're going to the wasteland, Kevin. Yeah, this guy's going to the wasteland for sure. Now, he'll be out there for a while, man. So, I want to show you guys something as well before I end this day. Is, if you look in the wasteland right now, he's coming back. We have this guy, Michael. He has an, a great weapon. He's got great endurance, great luck, great strength. And he's been out for almost a full day and has only used three med packs. He is a beast. However, this guy has eight med packs. He basically used 17 med packs in 13 hours. Now, he's fairly new, so we're actually going to recall him just to make sure he doesn't die out in the wasteland. So we'll pick him up tomorrow. Um, and, of course, we have James doing a really good job of grabbing a whole bunch of stuff for us. So we're going to have him go out as well. Grab that stuff. Just continually grabbing it. Don't don't add too many more people to your group until you know that they can uh, handle it. Everyone else here can basically, like this guy. Uh, let's see, strength. Okay, so he's. We're actually gonna put him in strength as well. 
we got four people here. I'd really like to have one more person, but I think basically, oh, here we go. She could use one more strength. Basically, I'll, I'll put her, I'll put them back into strength uh, in the morning. But for right now, if there's anyone that's not fully strength up, like she's not fully strength, but at the same time, if she has military fatigue, she'll be fine. So, oh, wow. I don't know why she's there. She definitely needs to go to strength. So again, big strategy with this is to just have one person that's a 10 in each one of the rooms and kind of build all the other people up as you're working on it. Luck, again, is going to be mostly for people that are exploring the wasteland. These two guys are going to be going, but we need them to continually grab a whole bunch of uh, resources before they go. Aaron looks like he could go. I would like to put him actually up in strength if we have any. I think strength is full, though, right now. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's full, so we'll be, we'll be going back at, uh, at a later date. So anyways, guys, this is going to be the end of day 14, end of the second week. We have 61 people. Who knows how many we're going to have at the end of the next week. End of the next week, I'm going to guess we're going to have 80, almost 90. We shall definitely see. I'll see you guys then. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out.